Hello Trojans. Hello Trojans. Welcome to another episode of HETV. I'm Aiden. And I'm Eli. This week we continued our segment dedicated to introducing our Trojan staff. Zach and Zoe sat down with Dr. Hurd, aka G Nice, for an interview. And this is what we had to say. Someone who came from the hospital as a psychiatrist. What made you come to Hazelgreen instead? Well, having um, the mental health background that I do, uh, I actually, you know, get asked that question a lot. Uh, but I did not apply for this position. I was actually, I received a phone call almost 20 years ago uh, exactly uh, asking me to come to interview for the, the ninth grade counselor position. Um, the person who had been in the position prior to me was a mental health professional and had been uh, the ninth grade counselor for many years and they wanted someone with a similar background. And so I've worked at the mental health center uh, for, for many years and worked at Crestwood's uh, psychiatric hospital as well. And so they wanted someone working with students in general and specifically students who may be considered more at risk. And so uh, I feel like, you know, what I could bring to the table was beneficial and uh, it worked out. I've, I've been here uh, about almost 20 years and I really enjoy working with the students here. And so, was there any like specific role models or motivations in your life that pushed you further? Uh, there's a, a long list of, of role <laughs> models, but for the sake of this interview, I'll narrow it down to, to just a few. Um, a funny story, when I, was a, when I was a child, I always wanted to be a superhero. You know, we all we watch cartoons, and I love Marvel movies. And so, you know, every Saturday, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm up with my cereal. And so as I got older, you know, I, I envisioned, you know, having superpowers and helping the world, so to speak. And children have always been my passion. But I learned that as I got older, you know, I had superheroes all around me. So three of the most influential people, in particular women in my life, um, were my late grandmother, Miss Agnes Walker, uh, who was just a dedicated human being, loved helping people. You know, she taught me to love and honor God, to always be willing to help others and to uh, to appreciate and value education. Uh, my late uh, sister who raised me and filled the gap in uh, after the passing of my grandmother always taught me to uh, never give up, never quit, and to always be resilient uh, and, and, and pursue my goals. And then finally my late mother who passed away when I was a year old um, basically gave me the opportunity of life and, and so my, my goal has just always been to try to pursue and do things and finish what she never uh, got to accomplish. So those have been three of the most influential people in my life. Yes, sir. Now who is G-Nice? G-Nice is my, so to speak, uh, alter ego, uh, freestyle, rap, uh, rap, um, so to speak, person. Uh, when we were growing up, we found lots of creative ways to entertain ourselves and just to have fun. And so. Uh, I'm an old man now, but back in the day, I was G Nice from uh, had, in a group called Locals Only. It was a rap group that we created back in elementary and middle school, and that's how we made extra money. Uh, and, and and even though it may sound strange, we were you know in the clubs and and just having fun at parties and stuff. So over the years, I've displayed some of the uh, some of those skills with the students, and I think you know as they say, looks can be deceiving. I may not look like a traditional. A uh, rapper or anything by that means, but yeah, I like to freestyle rap, and uh, you know, so if I got a good beat, then I can I can throw it down. Yes, sir. Right. We recently had some of our HGTV staff interview Miss Moore about the AG program, and to learn a little more about her, here's what happened. What benefits do you believe the green has to raise bags to fight for the school? Well, you and I have talked about this before, Chase. It may not affect everybody in the school, except I guess when it looks bad, maybe, I don't know. Except for we are really working hard to try to add plants to our courtyard area, to the front, to make the overall aesthetic of the school feel more home-like and something that we can be proud of. We, 100% of all, everything planted right now at the school has been planted by students in the last four years. And what we want to do is with the greenhouse is to be able to um, either start or save some plants or some plants up front that we've done that don't live in this zone. So we'll dig them up and we'll save them and overwinter them in the greenhouse. That's kind of how it benefits the whole school. But for an ag program, again, it serves as a fundraiser for our ag program to make it better for those students who are interested in those type of jobs from welding and ag mechanics. It still affects them. It's just an over total general ag program. 
But what we've got to do, it's so visible to everyone. We want to make it look good. And like I said, we want to continue to keep landscaping around it. And I'm hoping and hopeful within a couple of years, you're going to see um, some nice plants around the area that it's mulched. It just takes time and money. If you could have any other career, what would you do? Well, if I could have any other career besides education, that's kind of tough because I have really always wanted to be a teacher. My undergrad is in agriculture. It's in animal science. I love animals. I love, I love being on a farm. I could see myself farming just with my husband when I retire. I, if I had a completely other career, my problem was I always liked two different things. I, I love, I actually love reproductive physiology and animal science. I probably would have done that if I stayed in the animal route. But on the flip side, I love plants. And there's a side of me that would have loved to have been a landscape designer. And I could have seen myself doing that. A new organization to HE this year is the Zoological Society, sponsored by Coach Glenn. The next Zoological Society meetings are September 14 and September 28th. HGH has had a field trip to Alabama A&M University where numerous colleges and universities came together to create a college fair from 9 to 10.30 in the morning. A few notable ones being Auburn, Alabama State, Mercer, UAH, and Calhoun. At the fair, our students talked to representatives of the respective colleges in regards to costs, scholarships, merits, classes, locations, and majors. Each college had their special attributes from being liberal arts universities to small environmental science colleges. Bags, brochures, business cards, and offers were all exchanged. With homecoming festivities on the horizon and voting happening today, Zach and Zoe conducted an interview with Ms. Kayla Harris, one of the student council sponsors. Hello. Today we have Ms. Harris for an SCA interview. And why do you feel people should join SCA? Um, it's a great way to be a part of the school. You know, we set up with, the, we do the events and things like that, and it's just a good way to build school spirit and to help your fellow student. Mm -hmm. And what do you feel people might want to enjoy whenever they join SCA? Um, there's a lot of doing things together. Like last year we did the Relay for Life and we got to kind of hang out and be there and just be part of the community and things like that. Um, we also, you know, do a lot of voting, so it's getting a feel for the democracy of everything and things like that. So, but yeah, we hang out a lot, you know, we do a lot together. If you could choose any historical figure to eat lunch with, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Oh no. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just go with an author because, you know, they're my favorite people. So, I'd have to say Jane Austen. She's been my favorite author since I was in high school and that hasn't changed. So, definitely her. She seems like an interesting lady. Mm -hmm. And if you could spread a message to the entire student body, what would it be? Um, positivity, I think. I, I really try to make things positive and I think that everyone should. It's a good way to look at life. Make sure to let your voice be heard and vote for your 22-23 student council representatives. Good luck, candidates. The Trojan Nation has kicked off our fall sports seasons. Our varsity football team captured its first season win against Grissom last Friday with the final score of 23-0. Our JV fought off Lincoln County Falcons Monday night, and next Monday they will go against the Lee Generals. Next Friday, the Trojans will face off against Buckhorn at home in the annual Cotton Classic. Make sure to come out and support our Trojan football team. Our Lady Trojan volleyball team has performed well against their opponents this season. You can catch them in Gunnersville and Bob Jones at tournaments over the weekend. They will continue on the road next week at Madison County and Hartzell. In other sports news, three current Hazel Green baseball players committed to various colleges this week. Jackson Hunter to the University of Alabama, Blake Hall to Gadsden State, and Parker Hall to Northeast Mississippi Tigers. In our entertainment segment this week, we are looking at two new streaming options available this fall. On August 18th, She-Hulk Attorney at Law premiered on Disney+. Plus. This series follows Jennifer Walters, an attorney who specializes in superhuman cases, as she balances her career and her life as the six foot seven She-Hulk. New episodes are currently airing every Thursday. On September 9th, the fifth season of Cobra Kai will premiere on Netflix. This show is a spinoff of the Karate Kid film starring Ralph Macchio and follows Daniel and Johnny Lawrence as they join forces and reopen the Cobra Kai dojo with their group of young misfits and work to defeat villain Daniel Kreese once and for all. For our social media minute today, Aiden will introduce the B-Real app that so many of our Trojans are using. Aiden? B-Real has exploded in popularity in recent months. The app lets users post a photo to friends once a day at a randomly generated time. Everyone is notified simultaneously to capture and share a photo within two minutes. 
Users say it is a great way to be real throughout the day without using staged selfies. However, we caution our Trojans to remember our no photos during school policy and always practice safe cyber habits. With a touch of fall in the air the past couple of nights, let's look at our area's weather. Saturday will have a high of 89 and with a low of 70, and also with a 20% chance of rain. For those headed to the Cape for the launch of Artemis Saturday, you should expect highs of 87 with a slight chance of rain. For those headed to the Auburn or Alabama season openers on Saturday, your temps will be in the high to mid 80s. You might want to bring your umbrella for those afternoon showers. This Sunday in Hazelgrove, we'll see a high of 88 and a low of 71 with a 30% chance of rain. A tropical storm likely to be our first hurricane of the season is predicted to make landfall in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas by Labor Day weekend. This will likely bring rainstorms into our area by Monday. Those with holiday plans should expect high in the low 80s and a 60% chance of rain. And that's all we have for you today. We hope you have a restful weekend. For HGTV, I'm Aiden. And I'm Eli. And, and this, this has been, been HG on, on Your TV. TV.